That small gimbal here fixes all the issues of DJI OM6 and the Insta360 flow, but how good is the stabilization? We're gonna test it with the iPhone and with the Samsung. When you pair the gimbal with a phone that has lens stabilization, the results are amazing. Both stabilizations are complementing each other. But if you have an older phone that doesn't have lens stabilization, for you it will be better to grab a gimbal like the Hohem M6 because the tilt axe is not limited and you can hold the gimbal around 45 degrees and when you're running that will compensate a lot of the shake. It will provide you better result. Here is how it looks when we turn off the phone stabilization with the iSteady V3. The second most unique feature about this gimbal is the AI tracker that works with any application and with any phone because it's a separate unit. You can install it facing front or back, turn it on with the switch, you can control the direction of the phone and it's very responsive. With the OK sign you start the tracking and the tracking works up to 5 meters of distance and it's very nice and responsive. You can see how far away I am from the gimbal. And that tracking is smart. If it loses me, it will try to find me. Now let's go through the specification. It weighs 420 grams and the motor capacity is 280 grams. The battery can last you up to 11 hours when you don't use the AI tracking. With the AI tracking it lasts between 4 and 6 hours. The charging time is very fast, it's just hour and a half. The mechanical range is the biggest improvement compared to gimbals like DJI OM6 or the Insta360 Flow. When you compare the numbers they look very similar, plus minus 5 degrees here and there. But in reality the tilt axe on DJI OM6 is extremely limited and it moves the phone. With the Huhem V3 you don't have that issue. The working temperature is minus 10 degrees to plus 45 degrees Celsius. That means you can take that gimbal literally anywhere. From your winter vacation to your tropical vacation and it will operate without any issues. Additionally the gimbal has an extension rod, a remote control and a light next to the AI sensor. Having the remote control unlocks a lot of creative possibilities. Right here we have the gimbal mounted to a suction cup and because we are using an iPhone we can use any other Apple device to mirror screen and see what we are doing remotely. So we can drive the car and completely control the gimbal. But that's not everything. To do the perfect low angle shot we're gonna use the extension rod, rotate around the gimbal, adjust the angle and now with the remote control we can easily control the composition and we can start and stop the video without some weird moves and bending our back. It's so damn easy! Let's check how much the gimbal can handle and what kind of accessories we can use with it. First we start with a wireless microphone that is the Huhem Mic 1 and it's specially designed to work with any kind of gimbal. It's very lightweight and usually the gimbals don't have any issues with it. Before we change anything we have to put the gimbal in sleep mode. We just press two times the power button. One, two. Attaching the microphone, adjusting the balance and to turn the gimbal back on double press the power button. With the microphone you don't have any issues horizontally or vertically. Next in the list is a variable ND filter from Freewell. It weighs 44 grams, so it's not light at all. With that filter there is no way how I can balance the horizontal axe, but let's turn on the gimbal, calibrate it and see what will happen. When the phone is vertical there are no issues at all. You can even rotate the phone upside down, go low to the ground, it doesn't struggle. But when we rotate it horizontally, the motors are struggling because the phone is off balance. If we clip the phone the other way around and we balance it, 
there shouldn't be any issue. Now we press the trigger button three times. And now we can use the gimbal in this way, it doesn't restrict the motion at all. The only issue, the clamp is covering part of the screen, so you don't see the full picture. Next we have a gigantic ultra wide angle lens from Freewell, it weighs more than 100 grams. When you move nice and slowly, it doesn't have any issues, but when I start going faster, I can definitely hear the motor struggling a little bit. If you're planning on mounting heavy accessories, the better gimbal is the Huhem iSteady M6, you can check the full video right here. It's a very heavy duty mobile gimbal. Now let's check what is available in the gimbal application. We'll check for iPhone and for Android. Let's start with the resolution. We can record in 4K, 24, 25, 30 and 60 frames per second. The 25 frames per second are bonus for the Samsung devices because with the native camera application you don't have that option. From the lenses you have the ultra wide angle lens available, the 1X and the 5X or the 10X telephoto lens depending do you use the S23 or the S24. With the S24 we have only 5X. When you jump to the slow motion video, here you have available to film in 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second. Unfortunately, you're missing the 4K resolution the S24 Ultra allows you to have. That's not a huge issue because you can directly jump to the native camera application and go to slow motion. When you record slow motion with the Samsung Galaxy phone, it's very important to use a gimbal because by default the video stabilization is turned off and the moving videos are very shaky, no matter that you're recording in slow motion. With the iPhone, the application gives you everything what is available on the phone. We have the 0.5, the 1 and the 3x lens. From the frames per second, we have again 24, 25, 30 and 60 frames per second. And the resolution is going from 720 to 4K. With the slow motion, we have again the same resolution, Full HD 120fps and 240fps, so exactly the same how it's on the Galaxy phone. The best part, this gimbal doesn't limit any functionality and you can use it with other third-party camera applications. For the iPhone, the best applications on the market are the Blackmagic camera and the native camera application. They'll provide you the best video quality. The next very important point for me are the ergonomics. No matter how good is some equipment, if it's not comfortable to use it, you hate it and you will use it less. With Insta360 Flow that was the case, everything was wrong with that gimbal, especially the tripod legs. They were hidden inside and it was a nightmare to use them. Here we have a hidden tripod legs, they look thin but they are actually really strong, that's iron, and they have a very wide footstep. You can place that gimbal on mostly any kind of surface and it will be stable, sand, rocks, asphalt, no issues. Next is the handle, it lays really nicely in the hand and it's very comfortable to reach any of the buttons. The ergonomics are mostly perfect, it's a pleasure to use that gimbal. But the most important question is for whom is designed that gimbal. After using it for some time I can see three categories. Travel, it's really easy to fit it in your bag and have it always with you. Second are the family moments, events and memories. That gimbal can be always one hand away and you never miss the moment with your kids. And third, we have the professionals on the go, like real estate agents. This gimbal is so lightweight that can always stay in your bag. When you visit the property, just pop it up and for 5 to 10 minutes you have the perfect property video without the need of hiring a videographer. All the links are in the description. If you enjoyed this episode, you're definitely gonna enjoy this one. See you in the next one. Bye!